what we got here. <laughs> I gotta get a quad kill. Dude, those machine guns on the helicopters are no joke, man. Hourglass did need to be. They need to add some stuff to Hourglass for sure. It's not just all desert. Never back down. Oh wow. June seventh, man. That's. In a couple weeks. Oh, so we got another new map. It's always good. Have they released a new map a season? I don't know. Yeah, June 7th. Oh, is your birthday? Cool. Get a new battlefield season for your birthday. Uh, let's see. We've got some new gadgets. Spring anti-take and mini grenades. New weapons. Looks like a sniper. A sniper? Um, skins. Cool. Um, squad management, squad orders, and class system is back. I'm pretty sure class system's already in there. Yeah, dude, this game had a very... A very rough launch like full of bugs it just they really needed another like six months in the oven they released it way too early but you know two years on it's finally it's finally becoming what it should have been Weapon charms. Yeah, I don't care too much about that. All right. I'm looking forward to it. 
I do love my battlefield. I'm pretty sure they probably have some patch notes somewhere too. Yeah, here we go. Um, it's on the PlayStation blog. Yeah, right. That's the COD cycle for you. Game finally gets good and enjoyable. And then they stop <laughs> to release another one. And the cycle repeats. It's really frustrating me why like this came out, Battlefield 2042 came out so buggy. I mean, they had years to work on it. But it is what it is. And I'm hoping this season is not the last one. Because I know there's been rumors of them working on another one. You know, of course. But, you know, if that's not going to come out for another year or two years at least, then they definitely should not stop supporting this one. But I guess that depends on, like, the player base and how many people are still playing it, I guess. Get ready to squad up in an all-new battle or an all-new season of Battlefield 2042 coming June seventh. Prepare, show no mercy as season five, New Dawn puts your squad front and center. Experience the Battle Four inspired reclaimed map. Cool. Lead the charge to victory with all new weapons, gadgets, and tools, and enjoy a plethora of improvements to Battlefield 2042, including the returning squad and management system, a rework of vehicle loadouts, new weapon stations like thermal tech and heavy anti-air, rehold vault weapons, and a reworked version of the hourglass map. Keep reading for all the intel you'll need to charge into battle this season. Jack. Welcome to Zhekia. Zhekia. <laughs> this landlocked European country is the setting for the Season 5 reclaimed map. In 2048, war descends on an abandoned industrial facility, slowly being retaken by nature. Let's take a look at some areas of particular interest to anyone deployed here. Uh, vehicle combat... The towering indoor space of the abandoned turbine sets up incredible crossfire opportunities due to its verticality and cover. That's nice. I like the snowy maps. They always look better. They're like desert maps. And inside the nearby mountains lies the bunker, forgotten and made up of a central room, where short range and close co close quarters combat will always be pretty intense. All right. Looking forward to it. Hopefully they got a lot of uh, objects, structures in it. Because I'm definitely not a fan of the maps. It's just wide-ass open. Like, I don't... I'm not interested in, you know, getting sniped from across the map. All right, here are new weapons. The XCE Bar. This high precision bolt-action rifle has expanded detachment capability to accompany its stopping power. Letting you quickly swap through attachment options to engage foes at various distances. So that's that gun that was shown. That sniper looking thing. 
uh GEW46, an old favorite from Battlefield 4 returns, offering high stability with short burst fire and medium range engagements. Cool. I guess is that another vault gun? Uh the BFP50, a powerful hand cannon. Give you another sidearm that deals heavy damage at close range. Ooh. I do like some hand cannons. Oh, do I still have that one clip? Hold on. I put this on my clips channel. Uh DM clip 757. Oh, no, it's not clips. DM discs. I don't even know my own channel name. I definitely had a video on here where I... I think I sniped someone with like a hand cannon or something. Yeah, the M44. Oh yeah, this this pistol is pretty good. Dude sniping me out in the distance. I am. <laughs> I love it. Um Yeah, spring grenade, anti-tank grenade and mini grenade. Can be thrown faster and further than regular grenades. Okay. Spray grenade bounces into the air before a detonation. Interesting. So I guess that'd be good. Good. Uh, I'm trying to think of a scenario where that'd be useful. Maybe someone's on like a ledge or something. Instead of like throwing a grenade up, you can try to bounce it up. And squad management. I do vaguely remember squad management in Battlefield 1. You like pick what squad you want to be on. Like if you want to be on a squad with your friends or not. Right now it seems to just throw you into a random one. And then the battle pass. Looking forward to it, man. <laughs> 